OK, so in this video, I'm going to go through a couple of examples where we've been given some probabilities and were asked to find either an intersection or a union. Um, and what we really need to do here is utilise the formula that we looked at in the previous video, which was where we said that the probability of A union B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B take away the intersection. OK, so that's the formula that we really need to use here. Now, you could do this uh, using a Venn diagram, OK? And I'll show you um, us just using the formula for the first question and how you might want to employ a Venn diagram, if you like, to help yourself out. So for number one, we've got probability of A is 0 0.2, probability of B is 0 0.5, probability of A intersection B is 0 0.1, and we want to find the union. So we could just go directly into using the formula here, because the union will be the probability of A, 0 0.2, plus the probability of B, 0 0.5, take away the probability of the intersection. So that's 0 0.2 plus 0 0.5 is 0 0.7. Take away 0 0.1 is 0 0.6. So to visualise this as a Venn diagram, we've been told the intersection is 0 0.1. Then the probability of A is 0 0.2, so that's that whole circle. So that would be 0 0.1. I go through another example of drawing a Venn diagram in the next video. Probability of B is 0 0.5. So that remaining bit is 0 0.4 for those bits to add up to 0 0.5. So when we're looking at the union, it's the 0 0.4 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1, which makes the 0 0.6. Okay? Now, as for number two, we've been given the probability of A, the probability of B, and the union, but we want to find the intersection. Now, in order to draw that as a Venn diagram, that's quite tough, OK? Uh, it's not easy to do that. Um, really, we don't know enough. We need to know that intersection in order to draw it. So we can just go straight to the formula and then rearrange it, OK? Because if I look at this formula, I've got three of the four pieces. I've got the union, which is 0 0.74. I've got the probability of A, 0 0.72. I've got the probability of B, 0 0.31. Uh, but I don't have that intersection. That's the bit that I want to find. So if I add the intersection to both sides to move on to the left-hand side, and I can subtract the 0 0.74, just by rearranging, then we get this. So 0.72 plus 0.31, take away 0.74, gets me 0.29. So now, if I wanted to draw the Venn diagram that would go with that, there's A, there's B. 0.29 is now in the middle, in the intersection. So 0.72 take away the 0 0.29 gets me 0 0.43 in order for those two to add up to 0.72. The probability B is 0 0.31, so those two have got to add up to 0 0.31, so that'd be 0 0.02. And then I could uh, subtract everything from one to get that outside element. OK, but as I said, we'll go through and draw a full Venn diagram in the next video, but we can utilise just that formula in order to solve these types of problems.